actually died. Holy shit. The old dartboard. We had to store it up here after One-Eyed Eddie became Blind Eddie. Remember that time I got a jart to the jorts? I don't feel like playing. I'll just end up injuring somebody. Again. Again. Ugh! God damn it! I hate spiders! Dodge it. No way! Haven't you ever seen arachnophobia before? Big Bob could be in here. Big Bob. It's the router for the printer cable. Why wouldn't you have a router? router? I barely know her. Ew! I'd better not mess with it. I'm no badger pay pay. Just for the printer, huh? Okay. Oh, can I use it for grow up? If I can, that's stupid, but. I can't believe that oh worked! My God. Well, it's a temporary fix till the rats find it. Eh, good enough. I'll go tell Grandma the good news. <laughs> Alright. What the fuck are you watching, Grandma? Are you looking for adventure? Excitement, a little interaction. If you call now, are you looking for adventure? Of all the TV sets, I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have voice recognition controls. Maybe when I'm done with my chores. Are you looking for adventure? Excitement. Looks like the printer is ready for Grandma. I bet she's gonna use it to print out bingo cheat. Stop using up our colored ink whenever we make black and white prints, damn you! That ink's expensive! That's my grandma. She's... How often do you touch your gr... I got your printer working, grandma. boy! Now for my gardening problem. You need me to water your flowers? It's swarming with wasps! I need you to get rid of their nest on the roof. Wasps? Why me? I can't climb to the attic anymore. These old legs just aren't what they used to be. Okay, but shouldn't we get an exterminator for this? Wasps are above my pay grade. Coop, you're growing up so fast. It won't be long until my little man graduates and leaves this old home forever. You'll be moving and shaking as your own man out there, and I'll finally have this place all to myself. Well... Me and Bernie, that is. We'll be testing if these old walls can stand up to my uninhibited, quivering, earth-shattering orgasm! Duh, <laughs> wasps! We're talking about wasps here, Grandma. But until then, I don't need an exterminator since you're such a good little helper. We don't need to hear about your orgasms, Grandma. My doctor said I'm not supposed to get stung to death by wasps. Oh, Coop, we both know this family can't afford health insurance. Okay, but I'm still concerned about getting stung by thousands of wasps. You know, when your grandfather was still alive, he'd puff a cloud of cigar smoke on them and watch them drop like flies. I don't have cigarettes. Hmm, smoking them out could work. Do you still have cigars? Sorry, none. I quit smoking cigars when I started vaping. I don't want to. There you go acting up again. What kind of man leaves his little old granny alone in her garden to get attacked by wasps? I don't know. What kind of granny leads her grandson into a deadly wasp ambush? <sighs> you know, Coop, when your parents decided to drop you off at an orphanage, I wasn't sure it was for the best. Wait, what? And when I found out they changed their mind and decided to keep you, I was overjoyed. My parents tried to dump me? <laughs> but when they turned the car around and lost their lives in that horrible accident on the way home, I lost my daughter, you lost your parents. 
Ever since I changed my mind and picked you back up from the orphanage, all we've had left is each other. We need to look out for each other. I... I didn't know some of that. I'm glad I have you, Grandma. I'm glad I have you too, Coop. And I'm thankful your parents kept you safely in the trunk, out of harm's way. Seriously? Okay, that's enough details. I'll get the wasps. And some therapy. <laughs> How am I even supposed to reach the nest? You should be able to reach the nest from the window in the attic again? I hate going up there. You know how I feel about spiders and wasps. And attics. I guess it's wasp time. It was nice knowing you. Thanks, dearie. Let me know when you've killed the bastards. No, I need like some sort of... Can I set them on fire? That was a bright idea. Maybe all the people who said I suck were... That was a bright idea. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. I meant to do that. That didn't work, but I can imagine it. Survey says... Outlook not so good. It's Grandma's favorite Ted Bear shirt. Wow, even the shirt is great at surviving out in the wild. Tempting, but it's not my size. Also, Grandma has sex in this thing. <laughs> Having a tire swing is pretty cool, but it kind of sucks when there's no one there to push. I can see right through you, Tire! You I do sometimes push it and pretend a friend is on the swing. Um, do I get bug spray or anything like that? It's Grandma's rhubarb pie. I've also been told that's a euphemism, but I don't... I think Grandma's waiting for that to cool. You look like a yummy pie. That's the freezer. Grandma doesn't believe in popsicles, ice cream, or any other frozen treats, so it really isn't worth digging through. No can do. It's been frozen shut for years. Pretty sure it's just pure ice now. Dang, it's nothing but a bunch of doors. Ah, an apron. Look out, world. Get ready to kiss the coop. It's frozen shut. I guess that means it's working well. Maybe a little too well. Would I... No thanks. I get water from inside the house now, like a big boy. I don't need to set the garage up to be bloodproof. Yet. It's a green scarf, for what? Thanks, but my attire gets my ass. Hmm. I've 
No way! Those wasps are way too hostile! They'll sting me so hard I'll die to death! How do beekeepers get their bees to chill the fuck out? What family barbecue wouldn't be complete without a grill? Or in my case, a family. I'd love to sport some grills, but I don't think I can fit you in my mouth. My waspy little friends, sleep, sleep forever. Wow, I could be a supervillain. Worked. Huh. I'll let Grandma know. Might leave out what happened to the neighbor. Alright, perfect. Achieved my girl. What? I hope you kept that thumb of yours green, because your garden is now 100% wasp free. That's wonderful news! Time to prep and plant some petunia pals! Great! So I'm free to obsessively look, touch, and talk at the rest of the town now? You sure are! Right after you deliver these photos I printed. Aw, oh, man. Okay, fine. Thanks, Cooper. Just stop by the Golden Haze Retirement Home and leave them with Bernie for... personal use. Personal use? Gross. Bernie's easy to spot. Just look for a ravenous sexual stallion and a bulge you can't take your eyes off of! Say no more, Grandma. For the love of God, say no more. Mwah! Have a good day, dearie. Okay, guess I gotta head over to the Golden Haze Retirement Home now. It's the second saddest place in town. The first being my heart. God. Why, Grandma? What? I'm not just gonna barge into his house. Why not? A shark rat. Or a shark dad. <laughs> Billy tagged this tree by carving his name into it. I've met Billy. I think he's a sadist. It's okay, tree. Chicks dig scars. I'm not gonna pick up a fucking tree. It's like I'm staring directly into my future. Excuse me, just trying to get past. Halt, citizen! Please remain at least three feet away from me while you give me your spare change. Otherwise, I am legally obligated to inform you I will bite. P.S. Got any spare change? I'm really just looking to get by. How about five bucks? I'll contort to any shape you want for the minimum donation of five U.S. dollars. Sorry, I stopped carrying cash after I was mugged for 12 years straight by the bullies at my school. You're kind of a bummer, aren't you, kid? Can you just let me by, please? 
Come on, kid. Help me out here. How about a dollar? Some change? You gotta have a few quarters rattling around in that backpack of yours. I wish, but nope. Then allow me to contort my hand thusly. You're flipping me off, but I still don't have any money. All right, fine. Sorry. It's just been hard living out here with nowhere to call my own. Eh, I'm used to it. I get flipped off a lot by this bully, Kent. And teachers. And babies. Yeesh. So you'll let me buy? Absolutely. Oh, good. After a small donation. Damn it! To donate him what? Money? Do you do yoga or something? Yoga? Ha! I think not. I'm a contortion artist and the greatest that ever lived. I'm known from all over the world for my feats of flexibility and the amazing ways in which I stand. Uh, strangely. How come I've never heard of you? Because you and the rest of the world are ignorant of the beauty in a man licking the sweat off his own back. What? I guess I still am, because that sounds gross. Oh, I suppose the ability to dislocate my shoulders and rest my scrotum on my forehead is also gross. Yeah. Don't you have somewhere else you can go? I did, once. I had a beautiful home, a spacious two-bedroom with a foyer to practice my contortion arts. What happened? Did the bank foreclose on you? Something like that. It was a microwave box, and the garbage man nabbed it from the alley while I was showering in the gas station bathroom. You lived in a microwave box? I know, I know, it's a little excessive, but sometimes you just need a place with a lot of space so you could really stretch out in. Now it's gone. It's just me and the streets trying to survive the elements. I tried to use my bottom half as a shelter for my top half, but it's just not the same. <sighs> Did you stick your head up your ass, bro? Is that what I'm getting? Wow, I'm sorry you don't have a home, mister. Maybe there's something I can do to help. You could. Um, let me live in your home. Uh, no. Something that isn't that. Well, I suppose, uh, some spare change would help. Got any spare change? I was thinking of something more inventory-based. How about that backpack? Looks roomy. I'm not gonna carry you around. You may not be as helpful as you think you are, kid. Are you sure contorting is an art form? Boy, art is being able to stuff yourself into smaller and smaller boxes until your lungs can no longer expand. Oh, Philistines like you will never understand true art. You're right. I don't get it. Huh, just like the uncultured swines in charge of the county fairgrounds. Don't scare the children, Mo. Nobody's interested in the flexibility of your sphincter, Mo. Stop taking naps in the cotton candy machine, Mo. Ingrates. They fired me, folded me into a ball, and rolled me downhill to whatever crap town this is. Netherton, tough break. Which is exactly why I need a minimum donation of spare change. You got a spare change? Still no. <laughs> Take it easy, Stretch. Come back when you actually have something to offer me. <laughs> That didn't work, but I can imagine it did, and it feels good. Nice. I could give him tampons. MacGyver is rolling in his duct tape grave after that idea. Nope, that didn't work at all. Oh god, I could actually see him, bro. No. Oh, bro, no, get off. I can still see them in my peripheries! <laughs> no. It's a football helmet. They make sure you look stylish as you endure several concussions. For shotgun wounds? Oh. Cool. A fake hall pass for... I better get this thing signed. Damn it. How do 
do I get money? Lemonade type drinks? Weird. Why not just call it lemonade? There's a time and place where it'd be appropriate to take a stand, but now's not the time. Lemonade? Can't stand it. Yeah? Well, I spent a hundred bucks on an Ouya, which makes us both savvy investors. Seventy-five bucks? I would have done it just for the exposure. Give me money, buddy. Hey, janitor. How's the cleaning coming? Oh, thanks to you, kid. A new wind of inspiration has blown up my sails. Before you know it, this entire town will have a fresh coat of polish. Hope nobody planned to walk on it at any time soon. Huh. Well, I think we might make this episode a little short. We might uh, find the cash in the next episode. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And as always, stay awesome. I know this episode was a little short probably shorter than the actual hour episodes that I do and split in half but anyway I'm going to be making sure to upload part uh, 11 12 or uh, 13 and 14 right after I upload these two episodes so be prepared for that I am definitely going to be uploading more regularly like I was before uh, I just had a big break on uh, you know, St. Patty's Day, so, you know, we'll get right into that, so, as always, stay awesome. Peace!